Hive Variation 6. What are the bees going to think of that? Stay tuned, we'll find out. <laughs> Well, all right guys, high variation six. Uh, I'm gonna take this apart because I think it's gonna be easier to show you. It is different than four and five. It's a blend of version two and version three. Um, in version two, the entrance was at the same end as what this is right now, except the bees came in directly underneath the queen excluder, which led up into the honey stack up, or they could pass all the way to the back to come into the brood nest. There was a couple guys, uh, Fraser's bees, I'm sorry, I, there were two or three guys, I should have written them down, I didn't, sorry, um, that were concerned about robbing because the entrance is too close to the honey and there was also concern about, you know, if the colony had superseded Virgin Queen coming back and go up through the Queen Excluder. Um, so version three, I had put the entrance on the side I don't think it's in view of the camera. It's it's behind me. I'm gonna, I'll show you that another time. I didn't videotape putting bees in that. That was the first one I put bees into. But when I do an inspection, I'll show you that. In that version, the entrance is here on the side and the bees come in directly underneath the brood nest and they can go across and up into the honey super. This is a blend of the two of them. Um, aspects of both of those that I like. Uh, I like having the entrance away from me. It's better for the bees and it's certainly better for me. I can work uh, versions four, five, and six, I'm sitting here and the bees are coming from over there into the hive. Whereas version three, they're sitting, it's beside me. And I've actually have been through it a couple times already. So far, it's not an issue. Um, this one's a little wee bit different. So it's going into this nuke. This nuke is actually one of the nukes that survived upstairs. Um, I was in it a couple weeks ago and she was pretty weak. She was laying fine. She looked okay, but she had just, just made it through the winter. Um, I haven't done anything with it. I actually haven't been back in it probably two weeks, I guess. I uh, had a feeder jar on it for a while. Um, I'm watching them. They're flying pretty good right now. They're actually flying uh, west. I could have flown that one east. I uh, don't know why I did. My wax melter's right there, so they're not really interfering with anything. The other two that I set up earlier, four and five, they're flying west as well. Uh, well, number three, of course, is flying south, and that's one of the advantages of number three. On these particular stones, the entrance is still going to be south. Uh, if any of these other versions turn out to be good, I'm probably going to pick up and turn the stones. Anyway, let me move that nuke, rearrange these cameras, I'll take this thing all apart, and we'll look at it a little closer as I get ready to put bees in it. So, give me a second. All right, I've just moved that nuke away. Of course, now the entrance is gone. Um, this little nuke's actually flying pretty good right now. Uh, this is the top side. So there's the entrance. What I've done, <laughs> I've created a, uh, maybe I'll insert a picture or something or other. I, I created a couple pieces of wood here with a piece of wood on top, and it actually creates a 3 8 gap. A 3 8 gap through there, and comes underneath and comes up in the brood nest. Um, should reduce the chance of robbing and any freshly mated queen coming back should end up in here and then from here they can come directly up into the brood nest or they just move sideways a little bit there'll be a queen excluded here and they're going to move up into what will be the honey super um let me uh just put this down so now this is exactly where the entrance was of the nuke we'll see what they do with that um so brood nest is going to be back here so this is the same as two and three. Um, I'm gonna have a queen excluder right here. This little nuke's flying pretty good. Look at the bees I got milling around. Confused bees at the moment, uh, but they should sort that out. Um, so they should be able to come through there. We might even, I'm gonna leave this off. We might even see a couple come up through there. Now, same as all the other ones, um, I'm giving them 10 frames of, not completely. This one here, I stuck a couple of, uh, it's heavy though. I stuck a couple of frames of uh, drawn frames in here. Maybe I kind of sensed that this one was a little bit stronger. Um, give them a couple drawn frames. And this one's also going to get a honey super. Uh, version 3 also has a honey super uh, because I needed the height to get that little roof on there. <laughs> I should change that close-up camera. We'll see if they're going to go in. 
good number of them milling around. They're thinking, what the heck is going on here? Okay, so this one, this one will get a honey super, and this honey super is drawn with empty frames, and this is that little piece for that roof to shed off. And then it will get a normal inner cover. These frames tight together. Not so, criti not so critical with honey frames. I know some guys even leave them spaced. Makes them bulge it, makes it easier to uncap it. Actually, I should do the same really, I suppose, eh? Just give them a little wee bit. I don't know if I'm gonna get any honey off this. I'm not even concerned about that. I still have enough honey for my coffee, so I'm in good shape. Um, and then it will get a ventilation box. And it will get a roof. Uh, I need to get some metal on these roofs, but I'll get to that. Okay, so, uh, they are landing there. <laughs> I can move that other camera just for fun. Quite a few of them milling around, a couple looking at it. They're not so sure. This is gonna be an interesting one to keep an eye on throughout the day. Nope. Just out of the corner of my eye, I saw one come pop up over there and fly away. I don't think, a couple spider webs in this box. I don't think it's gonna take them too long to figure it out. All right, move the nuke back and ready to start transferring some fr frames. But right away, so you know, it's so obvious by having the entrance on the other side of the hive. Um, if you're coming out here, coming out here to do a brood inspection on a, a day when there's a good flow on, they're coming and going. Uh, they are gonna be coming up through here on this one, but uh, honey supers are over there. Good number of the bees are gonna be in the honey supers. Oh, guys, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that this actually does work. Okay, I haven't, uh, haven't been in this, like I say, probably two weeks. So, and I will need two frames. I got some empty frames there. Uh, one just came up out of there. Yeah, all right. Let's jump in here and see what this girl's got going on. Anna, I'm gonna move this around. I shut the door on this actually already, so they can't, they're not flying out the door anymore. Um, do have the smoker here. Another one just came out of there. Okay, I was a little concerned, uh, mildly concerned, of how long it would take them to figure that out. Um, but yeah, they're already coming in there. Once I get a couple frames put in the front there, got the smoker here, give these girls just a, a little wee bit. Not too many up here at the top. A couple running around that inner cover. Not too many. All right. Let's see what we got going on in here. And they're glued down. This frame here, they've actually just, uh, where's that? This frame here, they've just got a little wee bit of nectar, or that sugar syrup, I was feeding them. Um, I'm gonna put that at the front for the moment. This frame as well, it's, it's all shiny through here. They're just putting put a little wee bit of uh, feed. Scrape the sidebars. Bottom box looks busier looking down in there. And there's some ladder comb, ladder comb here on the bottom. There's a, <laughs> now, I, Oh, I gotta get the camera around here. Now they're coming and going there at that entrance. Let me grab that close-up camera just for a second. There's the entrance down there underneath that very first frame I put in. Um, if you watch there, look, there's another one. There's another one. They're, they're, they're coming up through there already. Um, but any, any concerns I had about them not finding that entrance, uh, those concerns are gone. Looking around the front, they're, uh, there's already, there's still a hundred bees or whatever flying around trying to figure it out, but there's one just headed in. There's another one just went in. No issue, no issue. They're, they have figured it out within just a few minutes. All right, let's carry on, see what else we got in here. Um, 
looks like this upper box, they were just really just starting to put a little wee tiny bit of nectar in it, which tells me the bottom box, yeah, I can see it's, it's pretty full. Um, so I'm putting two to the front, two to the back. I might rearrange this a bit. Um, we'll see, we'll see, see what we've got going down below. Oh, I know what I want to do. That was there. That goes here. Just makes it a little easier for me. So I have no issue lifting 100 pound boxes, but bending over and uh, picking up one frame at a time doesn't seem to do my back any good. I don't like to pick up 100 pound boxes. Get off there, you. Um, you know, you scrape a little wax at that and then I crumple it up in my hand. It's a bad situation if there's a bee in there when you crumple it up. <laughs> um, looks like I got more room on that side, so I'm going to take that frame. I can see they got them bulged. They do have them bulged. Maybe I'll try this back one. The back one doesn't have, but I got a lot of bees right here. I don't, I don't want to squish any. Nice and slow, gives them time to get out of the way. This is all larvae. Where's that other camera? Gotta get, get my head out of the way. I can see white bee milk eggs out here on the outside. Eggs all across the bottom. There's uh, syrup or nectar there. But all through the, this is all larvae. Oh, got some cat brood. Cat brood on this side. They got some pollen down there. Honey across the top, obviously. And this is all white. White larvae. Scan them. You're always looking for those brown caramel color larvae. For you new beekeepers, that's not a good thing. Some kind of disease that you don't want. All right, I'll uh, put that. Yeah, I might rearrange this, we'll see. The other way, sweetie, I'm gonna squish you. Oh, so this is all capped, capped out here. Looks like this probably emerged. She's got a little bit of drone where I got the communication hole. They always seem to do that. Got a drone right there. Um, Oh, and there's eggs. She's got eggs down in there, so she's come back. And there's open honey up in the corners. Ah, very nice. Oh, more cat brood here. And honey across the top. They got the honey bulged a little bit. Lots of young bees running around in here. And in this open area, I'm seeing more eggs again. There's, there's a bee right there emerging. Someday, guys. Someday. Buy a better camera that I can... Pretty peaceful. More cat. I'm looking down in the next frame too. There's cat brood there too. Sometimes I'll get the bees off and I use a like a bread knife and I trim this. Um, haven't seen the queen yet. I'm certainly not going to be trimming frames on anything that I have not seen the queen. Um, cautious, I guess. You know, when I, when when I'm sitting here running the yard with 30 or 40 hives and they're all queen right. Not that I'm careless. But I'm certainly not as concerned. Uh, and again, it depends on the time of year. If it's later in the season, I'm a bit more concerned. Early in the season, if you accidentally kill a queen, that's never a good thing, but they got lots of time to recover. But right now, I'm probably only running with, I just spotted a, maid, a laying queen over there. Uh, I've got a bunch of nukes to go through later today, but at the moment, I've only got five laying queens, that confirmed laying queens. So I'm cautious. Okay, I'm, yeah, maybe I don't need to be, but... This is a rebuilding year. I'm not going to put that one tight because of that bulge. So maybe when I do see the queen, I might come back and trim that so everything fits together a little nicer. Another frame. Another frame of... Oh, no. I thought I saw her. Another, and they have left the communication hole open on this one. I mention that quite often. They don't always close them. There's pollen here, honey. Cap brood. Um, 
another frame and then uh, it's all emerged out of the center there and that's all relayed uh, okay I need to look oh, another frame <laughs> There's another fan brood here. This, this, this one's actually doing pretty good. You know, I was making nukes. Uh, when was I making nukes? I don't know what day of the week this is. Four or five days ago. Um, and I was struggling for brood. I never really thought to come and look in here. <laughs> I didn't expect this. But that's fine. Maybe we'll get this. Maybe these girls will make a little bit of honey. I'm not going to put that one tight. Um, I might pull some of this apart and fix, fix that one. Uh, maybe even fix this one. A few more drones here. That's good. Oh, and there's my queen. This one is marked. This is a last year queen. Uh, get my out of the light. Fairly dark, white white dot on her. She's last year's. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave her right there for the moment, so I know where she is. I'm going to put this back on, and then what I'm going to do? Do I have my? All I do is I I. You know, I know where the queen is now, so I'll take and I'll shake those bees and I'll sweep it, and then I'm just going to take that knife. Um, I'll try and show you. So it's, this is the frame that I'm concerned about. So all I'm going to do, is, and I don't want to shake this too hard. There's there's all kinds of larvae and on on here. I'm not even going to shape it. Shake it. I'm going to go and get my broom. I went and grabbed the roof. I'll show you why in a second. So, I've got a, hopefully I'm in view of that camera. I've got a bread knife and my broom. Uh, don't sweep them with the bread knife. <laughs> um, I'm just going to, the same way I do when I'm harvesting honey. I'm just going to sweep these bees off as best I can. Down into the hive is always nicest. And I'm not even concerned if I get them all, but I want to get most of them. Okay. Um, I'm just going to set this on here so I can sort of show you. Hopefully I get in the view of that camera. Then I just work along here with this knife carefully. I don't want to hit the brood. Whatever I do, I don't want to hit the brood. I just want to take off these cappings that they got and this bulged honey. And I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to set this someplace. And uh, they'll rob it all back. So that, I'm just going to leave the knife in there. I don't know if that camera will see it now. I can't see. It's too bright. I can't see the the, the, ca the screen. Anyway, and they will they will recap that in no time. Okay. Uh, I need to add two frames. Anyway, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna split this brood nest up a little wee bit. Two frames that are pretty clean. Put that one in there. Then I'm going to bring this frame over to it. And then uh, uh, I'm going to put my queen. I don't want to split that much. Now I got to be careful here. Always careful. She can run up onto the inner cover. So we're going to be careful. Be careful. And I'm going to, it's all covered in bees now, so you got to move your fingers slow and careful. Now she could easily be in that box. No, I see her. She's right here where my thumb is, so I'm happy with that. And down she goes. And I know she's on this side, so I'm actually going to move these all over and snug these up this way. She is facing me. This, time, this frame here is also bulged. This frame's a little snug. I'm going to pull these two back to me. And then I'm going to drop this one in very carefully. Now, she's, she's between these two frames, so I'm not pushing that tight. Um, might regret it later when I go to take that out of there. Uh, so, 
I have a good number of bees in this box. All I do is sit it out in front. No point shaking them, banging them. Same thing with this. I could shake and bang these off, but there's no need to. I just sit it here in the front. Leave that alone. Um, now, I have an inner cover to go on here. And then I've got my sloped roof to go on here. And just like that. Um, this one's in good shape. This, at the moment, this could easily be my strongest colony. I had three others that were stronger than this three or four weeks ago, and I used them to make those first rounds of nukes. Robbed them down pretty good with this one. I just left it completely alone. So at the moment, variation six is my strongest colony. Uh, one more to do, but probably not till after lunch. That'll be a different video. Uh, and clean up all my mess here. And uh, uh, other than that, appreciate your time. You guys be good to your bees. And I'm sure it'll be good to you. We'll see you next time. Ciao.